While Twitter continues to grapple with how to deal with online trolls, there's one troll bot that has decided to make trolls look just as ridiculous as we all expect them to look. Now, Sarah Nyberg uh, created a Twitter bot that goes by the name Liz. In fact, the handle is Argutron. And all she does is post benign comments that for some reason or another rile people up, specifically trolls on Twitter. Okay, so the bot, which goes by the handle Argutron, generates statements meant to provoke disagreement from racists, sexists, neo-Nazis, Islamophobes, and anyone else who's looking for a fight on the internet. Okay, so I want to stop for a second. So interestingly enough, like I, I feel like there's a little bit of confusion in terms of what a troll is. So I think there's two different types of trolls. There are those who are just deplorables, right? The basket of deplorables. Yeah, exactly. Like the, the crazy people, right, that, that have extreme views on minorities that are hateful, that kind of stuff. Then there are the trolls that don't say things that they necessarily mean, but they know that if they say outrageous things, they'll get attention and they'll rile people up, right? Mm -hmm. So she's specifically going for the hateful group that just can't stand anyone that's not a white male. The reason I love this story is because, as you're about to see, she, all she did was program it to say things that are normal. And so it doesn't affect you if you're not a racist, sexist, etc., yeah. right? You just look at the comment and go, that's a strange, obvious comment to make, okay, and you yeah. move on with yeah. your life, right? Or, okay, that's a nice thing to say, and you move forward. But if you're in any of those basket of deplorables, you're like, what did you just say? You start arguing with the argutron. It's so, it's so good. <laughs> okay, so look, you might disagree with some of these statements, but I don't think that it would lead to you having strong, angry opinions, right? But let me give you the uh, three examples that stood out to me the most, okay? Here are some of her uh, statements on Twitter. Never listen to Donald Trump. No cursing. That's not really a strong statement. Just never She's listen very to Donald calm. Trump. Never okay. listen to Donald Trump. That's it. Okay. Trans women are women. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Muslim. Like, uh -huh, go ahead. No, like if, if you are a normal person, why would that, like, how dare you say trans women are women? You'd be like, oh, okay, fine. Thank you for tweeting that? <laughs> I don't know. And finally, Muslims should be able to wear the hijab if they wish. So those <laughs> comments, those statements on Twitter would lead to people arguing with her. And in one case, someone argued with her for 10 hours. And remember, this is a Twitter bot, so she's just kind of like, the, the reactions or the responses to some of the arguments don't even make any sense, but these people continue to argue with her, right? No, no, you keep saying her, I just want to be clear, she's not there, it's a bot. It's a bot. Okay, so they're arguing with a machine. They're arguing with a machine, and there was one Alex Jones fan who argued with her for 10 hours straight. No, Argued with the bot for 10 hours straight. No, I can't get enough of how stupid that is. Okay, that he broke the stupid record. Because the bot is just putting out random stuff. Yeah. And so trans women are women. So, and, no, how dare you? Uh, Muslims should be able to wear the hijab if they wish. Oh, yeah, just screw the Muslims. It's all the Muslims' fault. Never listen to Donald Trump. Oh, yeah, I should listen to that. For 10 hours. For 10 For hours. 10 hours. But, but also understand that, okay, the first statement is um, trans women are women. And the person would write back, no, they're born a man, so it's a man, it's a man. And then the response from Argutron would be, Something like completely out of left field, right? Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. It's different topics. And if Knucklehead doesn't get that it's, it's spitting oh, out so random good. I love it. Topics. I love it. By the way, I, there are many things that I'm passionate about. I'm not passionate about anything enough to sit in front of a computer for 10 hours and communicate with the same person, right? To be on the same social networking site and like sit there and wait for a response. Like, how much of a loser are you? Do you have a job? Do you have anything else going on in your life? I mean, she's really reinforcing what we already knew about tr tr trolls. I, I can't get enough of how stupid they are because. If I'm arguing with someone on Twitter or anywhere else and they're like, oh no, Trump's a great guy and I make a comment about Trump and then they're like, well, and the Cubs are the worst, I'm like, what? Huh? That doesn't make any sense. Why are you saying that, right? And then I'm like, okay, now back to Trump, right? And then they're like, and here's my uh, view of the military. I'm like, wait, what, those things are unconnected. What is going on? He can't figure it out. He can't figure it out and he just keeps going. Okay. And by the way, we're assuming it's a guy. Probably is. Like, <laughs> but if you believe that Alex Jones has got it figured out, you would argue with the argue trout for 10 hours. That makes sense. Um, all right, so then I want to give you uh, one of the examples from her page as well, because I thought it was funny. So there are guys that will sexually 
harass you on social media simply because you're a woman. There's no picture of her, okay? There's no indication of what this person looks like. And again, it's a bot. But this one dude like kept sending her, you know, very questionable tweets kind of harassing her. So let's take a quick look at the, the graphic. Okay, uh, nope, wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh, and then he says, wait, fuck, did I ever have a chance? And then she writes something that doesn't even make any sense. Uh, it's like I'm arguing with Anonymous or something. So what are you wearing? The guy responds. <laughs> I mean, how are all these Julian Assange fans finding me? Like that's her response to it. Like she, none of the responses make sense. And this guy's like, what are you wearing? <laughs> like he said earlier, wait, did I not have a chance? No, you did not have a chance with the are you try. You don't have a chance at life. <laughs> like that's the sad, that's the sad part. Young Turks membership. I can't tell you how good that feels and how good that tastes. Find out. TYTnetwork.com slash join.